you're looking at the Atlanta Bread Company in Wichita Falls, Texas. I've been to many Atlanta Bread restaurants throughout the United States and have always been treated with respect. But last night, Monday, September 14th, 2009, was different, and I'm making this video to let everyone know of my experience there. I was there last night when the manager came over to me and angrily got in my face, not once, but twice. My crime? Sitting at a table and being online. I was not making a scene, was not loud and obnoxious. I was behaving just like the other people who were sitting there in front of their laptops. A little background to this story. I've been in Wichita Falls for two weeks. Atlanta Bread Company is known for offering free Wi-Fi, so I make it a point to visit so I can get online. That's why they offer it, to draw customers through the door. I have been coming to this particular Atlanta Bread Company location, the only one in Wichita Falls, for the past two weeks. And even then, I was not there every single day, but only every second or third day. I would come in in the morning, buy breakfast and a drink, at a cost of six to ten dollars, and get online until lunch. Then I would purchase lunch at a cost of seven to twelve dollars, and I'd be online for a few more hours. I have spent more than $100 at this Atlanta Bread Company location over the past two weeks, just myself, a single person. I paid with cash. If I had paid with my credit card, I'd be able to give you an exact dollar figure. It's not as if I were there every day, never buying anything, and using the Wi-Fi service. I came in yesterday, Monday, having not been there the entire weekend, not since Friday morning when I stopped in for breakfast, which cost me another $7. I had just eaten lunch with friends elsewhere and was not hungry. I told the clerk at the register that I'd like a Coke, but she told me the soda dispenser wasn't working and I could only have water, coffee, or tea. I don't drink coffee or tea because it's against my religion. Really, it is. So I just have water. I got a glass of water and walked over to a table. Well, the tables that were empty had not been bust, so I sat down in a chair to wait for someone to clean the tables. The manager's wife walks past me and gives me a dirty look. I think, what's her problem? I got tired of waiting, so I finally moved the dirty dishes from one table to another, which also had dirty dishes on it, and washed the table myself. I then sat down with a glass of water and got online. It was past one o'clock and the lunch rush was over. Most of the tables are now empty. Before long, the head manager, an old man by the name of Benny, comes straight for me and proceeds to get in my face, loudly saying that I've been coming here every day and taking up tables and not buying anything and using the Wi-Fi which he pays for. And this, this isn't my office. Just going on and on and on. Actually repeating things he already said, maybe because he couldn't think of anything else to yell at me about. Other customers are looking over and he is greatly embarrassing me. I remained calm and let him say his piece. I remember his last words that he virtually shouted at me as he walked away were, you remember that next time. I thought, yeah, right, as if there will be a next time I'd come here. I'm thinking, what is this guy's problem? What a jerk. He offers free Wi-Fi to get people to stop in, but then he yells at them when they use it. Since I was online using his precious Wi-Fi, I brought up the Atlanta Bread Company corporate customer service email window and sent them a message letting them know how this manager treats their customers. I am sure they will not be pleased and I am awaiting their reply. The manager never told me to get out, so I stayed online. He did loudly tell me, you remember that next time, but before long he stomps back over to me again, saying I must not have gotten the message the first time, again embarrassing me in front of the other customers. I did not remain silent this time and told him, no, you didn't tell me to leave. All you did was embarrass me in front of the other customers and interrupt their meal. If you want me to leave, just say so. He replied, yes, I want you to leave. Get out. Fine. I shut my laptop down as he stomped off. Then I got up and left without saying another word to him. The thought did occur to me to just bitch slap him to the floor for being so rude, but I decided to use restraint and act like an adult, even if he couldn't. I'll let Atlanta Bread Company Corporate and the power of social media take care of it for me. I have already tweeted about this. It will be mentioned on my Facebook and MySpace pages. It's now on YouTube and will be posted on all of my blogs. It will be mentioned on my websites and I am also sending a letter to the editor of the Wichita Falls newspaper. I may even pick it on the street in front of the place with a sign saying customers treated unfairly and see how he likes that. So if you are ever in Wichita Falls, Texas and need something to eat, don't go to the Atlanta Bread Company on Midwestern Avenue near Kemp. You may be treated very badly. 
Give your business to a different restaurant instead and enjoy your meal. It seems to me that if you come through the doors of Atlanta Bread Company in Wichita Falls, Texas and don't buy anything, you are considered scum and will be treated accordingly by the manager, Benny, and his wife, Barbara, no matter how much money you spent there last week. I seen Barbara giving me dirty looks the entire time I was there yesterday. I understand that they are there to do business, and they have gotten a lot of business from me and would have gotten even more if Benny had spoken to me with tact and respect, but they might as well put parking meters on every seat in the place or at least post a sign on the door saying, spend money here or get out. That's the impression they certainly gave me, but it is not the impression I have received from other Atlanta Bread Company locations I have been to. They have always treated me with respect, and I have always had an enjoyable dining experience at Atlanta Bread Company, and I shall continue to. But that certainly is not the case at their Wichita Falls location. Dine there at your own risk.